because the overall military male in the marathon, Dr. Mark Kukazella. Well, this is just a celebration of being in the Air Force. You know, it's amazing. I ran the first one. There were a thousand of us lined up. It was a little event, but look at what's happened to it. This is really a celebration of Air Force fitness and health, and that's really my role in the Air Force now is to promote fitness and health. So might as well get in the mix and show how it's done. How is the, how's the track and how are volunteers out there? Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, what I like about this race, there's about 20 bands. So I just kind of run from band to band. <laughs> yeah. So that keeps you going. You run, run to one band, you know, and run to the next band and listen to some different music and are they trying to relax. Are they playing uh, uh, your favorite songs? Oh, yeah. I mean, golly, there's a, some Springsteen out there, a little Rocky theme going. You know, I had some ACDC along the way, a little bluegrass at one of them. Yeah. And Elvis. How does this win the Air Force win? You know, I think this is, uh, this is you know, more special. You know, I'm almost 45 years old. You know, I'm busy and you know, I get out there for an hour a day. You know, so I'm just living the life of any other you know, working soldier. You know, I'm, I don't have time to train per se. I just have time to try to stay fit. So that's the message I can pass on is you know, just get out there every day. And you know, as you get older, you don't have to stop or slow down. You just run smart, you know, learn how to run correctly, good technique, and keep running. Yeah, I mean, I don't feel sore at all now. Start until yeah. their bib went Thank over you very the start much. Line. Thank you. Congratulations. So it right just Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I feel great. Yeah. It was a nice run. I went out nice and easy and relaxed and just stayed that way the whole time and enjoyed the day. Said hi to a lot of volunteers, listened to the bands. So, yeah, it felt good to kind of win again after five years. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, it's it's actually a time of, of to relax. You know, my life, like most soldiers, is pretty darn busy. You know, I don't have much time to relax and actually be kind of off the grid, so to speak. So I was actually looking forward to this. Is three hours that I've got nothing to do but run. 
so it was a pleasure. You know, I'm just going out there on the course, I'm following the car. Yeah, it was it was great. I, I loved it. Did you come out with plans to win it today? Oh, not at all. <laughs> I came out with plans to run. You never know who's going to be here. You know, some of the you know top runners from past years weren't here. So you run your own race, and if you end up in the lead, you know, so be it. But no, I mean, I had no aspirations to win. Uh, I'm almost 40, and I also work on um, programs to help healthy running. So this is really the event I look forward to because it's part of my job. And really, you know, what, what I'm trying to do is really set an example for soldiers that, you know, we all can run. We're all born to run. We can run healthy. It's not painful. It doesn't have to be hard. We all have busy lives, and you can fit it in. So that's what we all need to do. We all have a fitness test we have to pass. You know, we have to be healthy to do our duty. So it's really about that, not athletic performance. It's the message I want to get out. Uh, you're an inspiration to others, believe it or not, and uh, how does it feel to inspire other, others through what you do? I mean, I think that's that's really what I want to do because I'm 45 and, you know, in West Virginia, we're the number one obese state in the country. So we're developing projects and programs and building trails and gardens for children to get them out and run and helping them build gardens and just really kind of teaching a community that physical activity is really the, that is the medicine for life. You know, whether you're in a rural community where I live or in the U.S. Air Force, which is a larger, more global community, but that's really the bottom line is, you know, we're trying to make people live healthier and prevent their heart attacks, but, you know, running is a means to that. You know, if you had to make that a pill, it's probably the most powerful pill you can give someone is 30 to 60 minutes of easy running, not hard running. You know, people don't believe it when I when they ask me how I train. I tell them I train easy, all easy, low heart rate. You know, I don't run hard because if you're busy, running has to be in that restorative part of your day. It can't be in the stressful exercise part of your day. It just doesn't last long. So we're trying to get people to understand sustainability. Very well said. Can you hold up your uh, GS7 model on you? I don't. Oh, okay. Yeah. No problem. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll get it on tape and then I can shoot you some pictures of you. Yeah, it's mark at freedomsrun.org. Okay. Freedoms with an S, run.org.